Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan Sapling here, Fat Loss Strength Coach, gonna be doing a video on Dan Kennedy's uh, system, uh, Ultimate Sales Letter System. This is actually uh, part two of the book. There'll be a link in the description, you can't really see that, if you would like to um, buy it and read it yourself, or uh, you can listen to me read it because I'm gonna be making some recordings of this to force myself to read the book and provide an audiobook um, because there is no audiobook and I wish there was. So why not do kill two birds with one stone, learn, read, uh, speak better, learn how to read better, and then also learn the material. Okay, so I'm going, I'm starting with part two because this is where all the meat is, or at least the part that I need to learn or reinforce is part two, the Kennedy system. Synonyms for the system, mythology, process, procedure, approach, practice, framework, modus operandi, reg regimen, formula, routine. Writing copy that sells is not a creative act so much as it is a mechanical process adhering to formulas and assembling essential component parts within a reliable framework. Chapter 1. The clay with which to mold. The first three steps are about getting the clay onto the work table where we will then mold and make our masterpieces. The idea of writing a sales letter is actually something of a false idea. It suggests sitting down with a pristine blank sheet of paper and conjuring words. In actuality, a truer description is assembling a sales letter. To do that, we need some things to assemble. Step one, get into the customer. An old adage says that you can't understand someone until you've walked a mile in his shoes. It's a good adage. We entrepreneurs, for instance, would be much better off if each of our elected representatives had to spend a couple of weeks every year running a small business, struggling to meet a payroll and filling out a slew of government forms. The people trying to work their way out of the slums would be much better off if each of our elected officials had to go live with them for a week or two every year. And our farmers would get some of their problems solved. Some, sorry. And our farmers would get some of their problems solved if each of those same officials had to spend a week every year working on a farm. A number of well-run companies require their top executives to take customer complaints, calls periodically, open and read mail from customers, even get out into the stores and deal with customers face-to-face. -face. More, small, more small business are using direct mail to attract new clients, customers, or patients, up to 18% to a year. 2010 from 2009, uh, source a small business survey reported in uh, delivermagazine.com. The goal is understanding. To persuade someone, to motivate someone, to sell someone, you really need to understand that person. How is it, how is it to miss? I wrote a TV infomercial script, essentially a sales letter that comes to life, selling a home mortgage-related product. The script called for the spokesperson to walk into a living room saying, here in a typical American home, the producer filmed this line with the spokesperson stepping into a white carpeted room with a grand piano as its centerpiece. Out of touch, out of touch. Admittedly, most marketers are never that far out of touch with their customers or prospects, but make a mental note. The more in touch you are, the more probable your success. In my copywriting mastery seminar, which hundreds of people paid $2,000 to attend, I provide a special checklist of smart questions to ask about your customers and prospects. My copywriting seminar in a box and other resources for copywriters can be found at dankennedy.com. That checklist is reprinted here as a very valuable bonus with this book. My 10 smart market diagnosis profiling questions. One, what keeps them awake at night? Indigestion boiling up their esophagus, eyes open staring at the ceiling. Two, what are they afraid of? Three, what are they angry about? Who are they angry at? Four, what are their top three daily frustrations? Five, what trends are occurring and will occur in their business or lives? Six, what do they secretly, ardently desire most? Seven, is there a built-in bias to the way they make decisions? Examples, engineers equals 
exceptionally analytical? Eight, do they have their own language? Nine, who else is selling something similar to their product and how? Ten, who else has tried selling them something similar and how has that effort failed? So step one in our system is to analyze thoroughly, understand and connect with the customer. In some cases, you may have a lot of demographic and statistical data about your customer or prospect available from your own records or from the vendors of the mailing list you are using. You might and probably should know the ages, incomes, hobbies, and political affiliations of the people you're writing to, even that magazine they read regularly, even what, what magazine they read regularly. Hopefully, you can even get beyond this data and gain a feeling for these people. If you have none of this, if you have nothing but zip codes, I suggest getting into your car and driving slowly several times on different days through the neighborhood with, with one of those zip codes to try to get a feel for those people. Or if you're marketing to business people, attend their meetings, read their trade journals. I've spent 30 years working with the visualization techniques developed by Dr. Maxwell Maltz, author of the 30 million copy bestseller Psycho-Cybernetics. I use those techniques, like the theater in your mind, to visualize my letters recipient as living, breathing, thinking, feeling, walking, talking human beings. I visualize their day's experience. How did it start out? What did they do when they first arrived at the office? Do they get their mail pre-sorted, open from an in-basket, hand-delivered? When do they get it? Where will they stand or sit when they go through it? At what time? What else are they thinking about? Preoccupied with it. What do they worry about, complain about, secretly wish for, enjoy? Through this, through this stretch of my own imagination, I try to become one with the recipient of my letter so that I can anticipate their thoughts and reactions. If you don't have enough information and experience to do this, you must get it. I try to accept assignments to write sales letters only to types of prospects I know well. But given an assignment aimed at people I didn't understand, I'd go get that understanding. Over the years, I've written hundreds of sales letters to real estate agents. My clients have included the best known sales trainers, seminar speakers, and marketing advisors to the real estate profession. I am not and have never been in the real estate business. When I first had to write a series of letters to real estate agents, I knew nothing about their business. What did I do? I went to public library. I went to the public library and read several years of back issues of the trade journals and real estate agents and subscribed to and read. One of the largest real estate companies had its con convention in my city. So I went and hung out in the hotel lobbies and bars and eavesdropped on conversations. I took a real estate agent to lunch and pumped him for information. I got myself to the point where I could visualize myself as a real estate agent and speak the language of real estate agent of the real estate agent. Once you've begun that process of identification, you'll be in a good position to determine what the recipient of your letter wants. Write these items down in order, order of priority. Okay, so that's the first section I'm going to read. Uh, I want to briefly go over the, the questions because they apply uh, my top 10 mar smart marketing diagnosis and profiling questions. So I'm going to ask these questions and I kind of want you to think about, or this is actually kind of a message to me, Think about your prospect, the, the sales letter you're writing, the sales message you're writing to for someone, whether it be a, for a video sales letter or it be for a, a sales letter that you're writing. One, what keeps them awake at night? Indigestion boiling up in their indigestion boiling up in their esophagus, eyes open, staring at the ceiling. Think about it. What keeps up? What keeps up people at night? Think about that one thing that they think about the most, and how you can solve that problem. It could be. You know, a death in the family, could be diabetes, could be some sort of sickness. And the thing that they worry about, they might worry about their blood sugar. They might be worried about money. You know, got to find that one thing that makes them worry. And then you have to write about that. What are they afraid of? You know, what, you know, for a lot of uh, people, especially common thing, people don't want to be embarrassed. And, you know, one of the things is very common is that people like nice brands, you know, like Louis Vuitton, Coach. And that's a statement about that person. It means that they value prestige over anything else. You know, pe people who drive a Prius have a different psychology than all the people that drive a Lamborghini, for example. Um, okay, it's kind of polarizing example. Three, what are what are they angry about? Who are they angry at? Four, what are their top three daily frustrations? Five, what trends are occurring and will occur in their business or lives? Six, what do they secretly, ardently desire most? Seven, 
Is there a built-in bias to the way they make decisions? Example, engineers except, are exceptionally analytical. Eight, do they own their own language? Nine, who else is selling something similar to their product and how? Ten, who else has tried selling them something similar and how has that effort failed? Okay, so we'll end right there. Um, if you want me to read the next section, leave a comment. I'll probably make another one tomorrow, but I never know when I'm going to actually do anything when I make things for me. But if you comment, it'll be most likely I'm going to make another one So uh, sooner. Thanks for watching, and this is uh, Ryan signing out. See you later. Uh, book of link in the affiliate link in the description. Also, um, if you want to see my main channel for fitness and you're into that stuff, that link will be there too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next video.